Susan Osborne from Autism Unites, and we have George Page, who is a filmmaker, who is joining us as well. Now, normally, we would say, why didn't we separate these two interviews and have them separate? But you guys have something in common that you're working on. Maybe we should start, Susan, by talking about what is Autism Unites. Well, Autism Unites is our um, new name. We were Autism Spectrum Integrated Services, and what we are is a support for young adults, with primarily with autism, but other learning challenges as well, to help them with the transition and integration process into their communities, mm -hmm. to their social environment, and to their employment. So we are launching this summer with a summer film camp, which is why George is here. It um, all starts to make sense, yes. right, George? Um, <laughs> George, and well, George can tell uh, the story a little more than I can, but he is in uh, post-production on a film called Topanga about the um, music scene in Topanga Canyon during the 60s to the 90s, and he's collaborating with us to create internships for students that we are going to support and match with a companion with a friend on the film that we train that helps them nav not only do the job and help them with the you know executive functioning part of that but also making those social connections on the job okay because making those social connections on the job are usually what keeps you on the job and gets you referred um, and I just learned this a few years ago, the autism, um, individuals with autism have the highest rate of unemployment of any disability category. Yeah. And we feel that it's that connection element. They fail to make that connection, and and that's why they fail to keep those jobs, get or keep those jobs. And we should mention that this is personal to you because you're a mom. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your son. 20 years old, graduated from high school last spring, started community college uh, in the fall, and right now taking an acting and a... Um, a physical fitness class that he totally did himself. He wanted to go to another college which was not close to our house. Did it all on his own. Registered, paid for it, gets to school every day. And he so, is on the spectrum. He's Yeah, he is um, a really nice young man. Um, a little, the acting part surprised me because he has the most monotone voice that I've heard, <laughs> but maybe that will help him be a little more emotive. But Well, so. it's really remarkable. And we have to talk a little bit to George because, George, you are that amazing breed of person. You're out there and you're doing a job and you're creating other jobs and you have a willingness to open this field up and say, I want to take some people in and do something with a higher purpose. So mm -hmm. first of all, we adore you. Uh, uh, we wish you. we could clone you and make more <laughs> of you, right? Because thank that's you. what yeah. this world needs. So tell us a little bit about this film, Topanga. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Topanga, you know, I'm, I, I'm a TV and film producer, and mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, we're not in post-production, we're in pre-production. Oh, pre-production. Uh, so <laughs> Big difference. Jumped ahead. ahead. Yes. Jumped ahead, but that's okay. That's, that's that positive attitude, yeah, we're, right? We're, well, we're learning from each other. I'm right. learning all about the autistic world, and uh, and she's learning a little bit about uh, film and television <laughs> production. So, um, you know, I've done a lot of these films in my past. Um, yeah, I, I produced The Doors, a life story after Jim Morrison passed away for Universal and HBO, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and Mike Michael Jackson brought me out here, and Barry Gordy. Uh, I produced the whole history of Motown wow. uh, through a, a series of films. And, you know, of course, Michael Jackson, The Legend Continues, was the flagship of that series. And so I've done a number of these. I've done a lot of primetime network specials, retrospectives. You know, Jerry Seinfeld and I did Abbott Costello's life story for NBC, mm -hmm. and I even did the Brady Bunch. Uh, oh, amazing! For us. Full circle moment. Yeah, Everybody. right. So um, you know, I I'm working on a on a digital series right now, and um, uh, called Malibu Clout. It's sort of a fun action comedy series, and and uh, my director, who's a Topanga resident, his name is Matt Prine. He you know, one day brought this little pamphlet to my house, and this novelette about the history of uh, of Topanga Beach mm -hmm. and all these you know denizens who used to live there. They were called the Cosmic Children, uh -huh. and it was just really fascinating to me. And uh, so I. I and this thing sat there for a while, and I, then I picked it up, started reading it, and and then as I moved up the canyon, I realized that uh, there's this incredible musical legacy yeah. that came out of that's come out of Topanga Canyon. A lot of it's been overshadowed by Laurel Canyon, and right. but um, you know the the number of of creative people, you know, artists, musicians, bohemians that have lived in Topanga Canyon, starting off with. Um, uh, Woody Guthrie, mm -hmm. you know, who wrote uh, probably America's second anthem, you know, This Land is Your Land, while yeah. living in Topanga Canyon. And, you know, Neil Young wrote After the Gold Rush, and, and um, 
oh my God, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and, and just a whole slew of incredible musicians, Jackson Brown and, and the Eagles who lived and, and, and performed and created in Topanga Canyon. I just thought it was a great idea for a new theatrical musical documentary. And um, so while I was formulating this idea, you know, an associate of mine, Barbara Hollander, had mentioned, um, you know, this autistic organization and 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 what their uh, what the premise of their uh, their organization was is, and that is to help employ and, and connect, you know, high functioning autistic young adults with uh, with, you know, with the, the world, and uh, and we've used a lot of interns in our films. Mm -hmm. And then we just started talking, Barbara and I, and, and the idea of actually you know, bringing autistic young adults to work with us in the areas of our key uh, departments, you know, graphics and mm -hmm. uh, music composing and editing and, yeah. and areas that, you know, where the autistic mind would actually, could really sail off and, and, and learn uh, these different crafts. So the whole idea came up is that, yeah, let's, let's work with, um, through the art of connection, Mm -hmm. uh, let's work with some of these autistic young adults and bring them onto the film and train them in these different areas with the idea that eventually, you know, they'll learn the skills. Um, I could, you know, perhaps use this as a template for other producers and, and Hollywood in general to, to bring in these autistic people to, to help work in meaningful ways and, and employ them to, uh, you know, to become self-sufficient, independent people in, in our community. It's a, it's a remarkable project. And so this summer, you're going to be in production yep. and there will be interns on the film and you're going to do it right. So we're not just throwing them in the deep end of the pool. They're going to have a buddy who will be working with them, helping them to learn the skills as you're actually working in a real life situation. Exactly. Remarkable. Yeah. But on top of that, you're going to document every step along the way. So not only will you be making a film, Topanga, but you're also going to be filming the making of and right. you're calling that the art of connection, correct? Correct. So a second documentary will be made at the same time. Right. You guys are clever. Yeah. I gotta say, <laughs> that's using your brain. Uh, more people need to do things like yeah. this. Yeah. Really remarkable. But in order to raise the funds to make this possible, because we all understand that this is not going to be something that you can just decide to do and you got to have the supports in place. In order to raise the funds, you're having a fundraiser, correct? Correct. So tell us about the fundraiser. It's going to be a wonderful evening on February 20th. 7th in, um, in a lovely estate in Mandeville Canyon. We're going to have featured performance of Robbie Krieger from The Doors mm -hmm. and Honey Nisser, who will be on next to talk about his involvement. And um, also we have a really amazing pianist named Michael or Rex, oh, Rex Lewis. Le Rex mm -hmm. Lewis, who just added yesterday. He's a, a piano, um, an individual with autism, prodigy pianist so awesome. he'll also be performing as well so where can people get tickets to come to this event to support this so that they can be a part of this and get to meet everyone you'll obviously be there correct mm -hmm. both of you correct. Yeah. where can they get tickets well the best way to go is through the registration site and if they go to our old our our old website which we're redoing but it's autism spectrum integrated services dot org there is uh, the first page will take you to the event and there's a link to buy tickets for the event. Okay, really remarkable. We want to encourage people to go there, uh, get tickets. If you're in the Los Angeles area at the end of February, you're going to want to go to this event. Yeah. And if they have young people on the spectrum that they would like to participate in the internship because they want them to be there and be a part of this film process, go to the same website They for can. They can also call me at 310-569-9308. We are looking for students as well. Okay. And we definitely want to interview them, make sure that this will be a good fit because success is what we're aiming for. We want okay. to make sure that So works. both the interns you're looking for and you're looking for students to be the buddies to train them ahead of time. Right. And so we're, we're going to be going to the college local colleges and looking for interns as well okay. and eventually we're going to go into the residential component with the same concept yes embedding somebody trained to live with these students to help them learn like what Stephanie was talking about Ooh, really remarkable so that later when they're in college or they're going to go to work that there would be a living situation in which somebody would be living with them helping them but somebody who is same age same, same interest age, same interest so again that's what we form our friendships on is common bonds on common interests so really 
matching, careful matching, that, that is going to be kind of the motivation to, to, to these students to do something. They're going to find somebody, that a kindred spirit, but somebody that's trained that can help support them and be their kind of wingman in life yeah. help, until they figure it out for themselves. It's a great mission that you guys are on, and we applaud it, and we hope you'll come back and talk right. more with us as things come to fruition. Yeah, it's going to be an incredible night because uh, I, I failed to mention, Robbie Krieger is not only my partner on this movie, uh -huh. but he's also the musical director for the movie oh, really, really so cool. he's going to be performing and if people you know I mean Robbie Krieger is one of the surviving members of the doors of yeah. course and he hit he, he wrote many of their you know their classic iconic hits yeah. including light my fire and and uh, touch me and uh, love her madly and and so Robbie will be per performing with Hanny Nasser who's yeah. performed with Santana and uh, Jackson Brown and Bonnie Raitt and Steve Miller and yeah. And, and at course, a private home. At we a should, private it's home, a private yeah. home. So this is not you're going to a big venue where you're not going to get to like meet and greet people. This is at a private home. This is a really special very intimate, event. Very yeah. personal. And and of course Rex Lewis, you know who, you know most people probably will know who Rex Lewis is. He's appeared on 60 Minutes I think three times. They've chronicled his life since the time he was seven years old. I mean he's he's um, he's a child prodigy, a savant, uh, you know, autistic child who's actually performed for Pre Vice President uh, Joseph Biden and his wife at, at their home recently. And he's going to be performing a medley, the same medley he performed for the president, for the vice president. He's going to be performing for us uh, that night. Remarkable. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful event. Uh, so we want you to go there.